Hey everyone, today I have a little review on the new Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Matte Balm. I had a really hard time trying to find these and then I finally found them yesterday at Superstore, but it was no tax day at Superstore yesterday. So every single one of them on the display was like opened and like swatched and it, it was just not good news. So there was only this one and then a nude one, like it was a nudish, like kind of like an orangey color that wasn't touched and I didn't want that one so I only picked up the one. I did find this for $8.46 which I think that the like Revlon Kissable Balm Stains were around that price. So in this new line that Revlon came out with there's a lacquer and then a matte balm so there's two different finishes and the packaging like correlates with what the finish is so for the matte ones they're matte and for the lacquers they're more of like a shiny almost metallic color which are a little different from the actual balm kissable balm stains which they originally came out with you can see that the finishes are different so yeah the packaging is the same just a chubby stick and it's retractable when i was there and looking at the lacquer ones i did swatch a couple that were already opened because well if they're already opened why not and i didn't even like it and i don't even think i was gonna buy it because it looks like there was actual like glitter chunks in the product and i'm i just don't really like glitter on my lips you know sometimes it's okay you know if i want a gloss but i don't like glitter I do really love matte lipsticks, you probably know that if you're watching my channel, and that's why I really was interested in the um, matte version of this, and thankfully there was a red because I don't really think I would have wanted any other color besides red. There was a really beautiful like Barney purple, which I really, really wanted, but they were all played with, so I couldn't get it. So I have swatched on my hand here a kissable bomb stain. I swatched the color... Um, 045 Romantic. This is the original one that they came out with and as you can see it's more of a sheer actual tinted balm. These are called Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain and then this other one is the matte finish which they just call the matte balm. So it's not marketed as a stain, it's just a balm. I'll do another swatch on my hand so you really can see how creamy and pigmented and like it's, it's beautiful. There is a little bit of a smell to these, just as the Kissable Balm stains. There is a little bit of a minty scent. It's just initially when you put it on, you can have, like, there's, like, a little hint of it, but it, then it's gone. Like, it, within five minutes, it's gone, and it's so faint that you don't really notice it, but it's pleasant to put on. One thing I will say about the packaging, when the Kissable Balm stains came out, there was a plastic, like, casing all over it that you had to, like, peel off, and then you knew that it was sealed, and no one had played with it. The thing I didn't like about this is there was just a little tab on it like a plastic tab and it's easily like taken off and that's one thing I don't like about it in the drugstore you know people are always playing with it one thing I didn't like a while back L'Oreal did come out with their Lilac and La Matte lipsticks which or not lipsticks they're lip products and I can understand why Revlon also did this now part of me does believe that it's just like a marketing gimmick because I don't really see a difference between the matte formula of the chubby sticks and their lipsticks these are a little bit creamier but to market this as a bomb in a chubby stick it's mostly saying like this is for you guys like you're on the go and you need something that's on the go also so part of it is sort of like a marketing gimmick like let's repackage some things or maybe it is a different formula you know I'm not a chemist I don't know but it's it's mostly marketed as something that you can take with you on the go it's easy you know it's not a lipstick that you have to put some time and effort into it's just like you zip it on and there you are now the matte one you can't really you know just put it on like as you're going but with the kissable balm stains i for sure did you know they're so sheer well this one isn't this is my favorite one i think this is crush oh no this isn't my favorite one which is my favorite one this is a door I'll show you crush this is my favorite one um I would just like whip this on and I'd be good to go you know like walking somewhere or in the car I would just whip it on but with the matte one I can't really do that because it is so pigmented it's like a lipstick and that's what I really like about it I'm not trying to knock Revlon or um L'Oreal for you know coming out with these things because it is nice and convenient to have it in a tube like this so aside from their whole marketing thing I actually really really love this lip product um it's so nice and creamy like it's an absolute dream it's so like i don't even know it it's just so nice i am going to compare this matte balm to the revlon lip butters only because it kind of has the same consistency but more of like a matte finish it's not completely matte but it's more of like a pigmented like richly flat color so I am going to pair it to it because it does it does feel the same when you put it on as a Revlon lip butter but in a matte formula does that make sense 
Look at my hand now, it's just an absolute mess. Bottom line is, I actually really like this, and if not all of them at Superstore were played with, I really would have gotten more. I really want that purple one because I, I really love it, and I think it looks great. It applied nicely, applied evenly. It wasn't hard to build up color, like it's just so pigmented. I have like it all over me, but um, I really, really love this thing. The end. That's all I have to say about this thing. It. I think it's my new favorite. I really, really, really like it. I love, I just, I really, really like it. <laughs> that brings me to the end. Oh, I wear hats. Some people are like, why are you always wearing hats? I'm wearing hats because I don't want to do my hair. That's why I'm wearing hats. I just don't want to do my hair. Anyway, that's all I have to say. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can. It's BaileyBeautyXO, and I will see you later. Bye!